Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medina's. So, yeah, painful, painful, painful. So, I lost my recording for the whole last episode. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details, but let's suffice it to say I've been trying to get this thing done for like three and a half hours now, and it's driving me nuts. The, the mission crashed out twice. Uh, I went back in a third time to complete it, and then somehow never recorded it, and it managed to get through. Oh my god. Anyway, so needless to say, I'm frustrated, but we do have some stuff we can do today. So first thing we're going to do is have a look at the mech bays, because I refit all these mechs, and I was so proud of the layouts and what I did, um, and then none of it recorded. So let's just have a look at everything. So our Hunchback PPC right now is still the same Hunchback. Two PPCs, two mediums, and an ER medium. It stayed the same. Nothing changed. Uh, Hunchback um, 4P, which is our basically scout mech. If we look at this guy, really all we did is um, we were able to drop in some endo steel into this guy. And we had saved some heat sink cooling pods from the Jager mech, which I'll show you next. And we put them in here because this guy was operating very terribly. Uh, heat wise so we added another medium laser and now our heat sinking with the three pods is actually 75 74 which is really good so overall this guy is actually excuse me this guy's actually um, functioning uh, quite well now so we're just gonna just gonna leave this guy for a second and the Jager mech well the crowd we just replaced the arm on the Jager mech we changed now um, originally um, I wasn't going to switch this guy out, but we put the Centurion into storage, and it had an Ultra 5 on it. We had another Ultra 5 in our um, in our bins, so basically what I did to change this guy around um, is we've got now an Ultra 5 on each side. We keep one light machine, machine gun on each arm. Uh, three tons of AC-5 ammo gives us about 12 rounds of continuous fire. Dropped two medium lasers on the one side and a ballistic TTS. We left it, we kept the TTS energy in the CT in order for the lasers to hit a little bit more often. Uh, not too much more, but they'll hit. Uh, and we added a flamer because we had a little bit of weight left. Um, our heat sinking is actually quite good, 60-65. Uh, the flamer does um, six heat, but we're not going to be using it all that much. It's got a really low minimum range. So we're going to be saving seats six heat. So really our heat sinking is 60-59. So it's actually quite good on this mech. Uh, with the Pirate TC and the Ballistic, we're getting good chances to hit with the Ultras, which is awesome. And the TTS Energy and the Pirate TC, TTC, we're hitting these guys a lot, lot, lot more too. So I'm hoping this guy becomes a nice fire suppression mech. So then we, what we did is we had a look at... The Hunchback J, which you can't really see here, but this guy changed slightly. This was the one with the uh, MRMs on it. So we changed it up a little bit. We had two M MML5s, which we dropped in, plus an Artemis 4 system. So that's in here now. We put a PPC in the one arm and a medium laser and a couple flamers in here. So, you know, it's a little bit more like our PPC Hunchback, um, but I think firepower-wise, it's going to hit more... Um, it's going to be a bit more punchier, I think. So we're, that's the route we're going to go with this guy. Now the last one, and not uh, definitely not least, is our Victor. So let's have a look at this guy because he's changed a bit here. So we were having a really hard time hitting with the AC-20. Now while it did 110 damage and did some good stability damage, if you can't land it, it's pretty much useless, right? So rather than running the 14-ton AC-20, I put a Thunderbolt 20 on this side, which does 100 points damage. Uh, less less stability, it's 10 less damage, but it's also 2 tons less, which allows us to put in the Artemis 4 system in here, which is going to give this a much better chance to hit. It's already plus 1 to hit because it's a Thunderbolt, plus 2 more with the missile system, so this is great. And we can just leave the AC-20 ammo in because that's what this thing uses. Now we took out half a ton of machine gun ammo uh, and left 3 light machine guns in. These guys will be firing pretty much all the time. And we added a light rifle as well because we had some tonnage left over once we dropped in uh, endo steel and stuff. So we put a light rifle in. Heat's only 2, damage is 30. It's got 15 shots. So it's going to give us a little bit of range at 600 meters. It's pretty good. And then we put in two bonus damage medium lasers plus a weapon mount on this side uh, with a plus 3 chance to hit. So that's going to give us good uh, medium laser close in damage and hit, hit chances. So that's awesome. Um, 
and we're running pretty heat neutral right now too 75 75 it's pretty good now no matter what, what I did I could not get anything like an arm like a lower arm or a, a hand or a weapon mount onto this arm I guess it needs an upper arm mount um, I have no idea why because the victor is obviously not showing that so I don't know whether it's a bug um, or what it is so if you have any suggestions let me know but I can't get anything in here unless I have an upper arm mount so no big deal it's just a light machine gun and a light rifle machine guns got a plus accuracy anyway uh, I left the light machine guns in because the last actually I did the same mission three times and we don't have a recording of it because I don't have it but um, in those missions um, an enforcer two sorry an enforcer went down due to machine gun headshots an archer went down due to machine gun headshots and a marauder 2 went down due to machine gun headshots from both this guy and the jager mech so that's why i'm keeping the light machine guns on here i added one more we only had two originally but now we got three so i added one more uh, if i can squeak another one in here uh, eventually probably that's what i'm going to do too um if we can get uh, some clan endo steel or something that we can add on here and get some more weight i'll put another light machine gun in here uh just to round it out i don't know if we've got an extra one left do we we do we got a couple left over so we can we, we can always squeak another one in here too to hit people at, actually you know what before i forget i remember i just remember now that we took off patchwork materials so we can put one more in let's do that it's adding a little bit more to the heat but I like those the chance for headshots, so we're going to keep it as that. Um, but you can see here, even with the hand, I can't get anything in there. So not much I can really do about it. So we're going to leave it like this. Let's confirm this. It's a two-day repair, and we don't really care about that because that'll go fast. Um, so, yeah, that's the Lance as it stands right now. And we're going to take these guys into battle today. Now there's a... Um, uh, a couple of Davi Davian facilities down on the planet that we're going to just drop in and attack. Test this lance out. Um, so let's go do that and see how it's uh, how the lance is operating. So I'll see everybody down on the surface. Ready to rock, Chief. All right, guys. So we're on the surface now. Um, so I got to explain a little bit of what's happened since <laughs> I recorded the ability to drop. Um, so I recorded the mission that I was intending to do and lo and behold somehow wow this is like a really short sprint distance here now um, lo and behold uh, for some reason that mission did not record however it completed successfully which kind of shocked me in a way because I've been experiencing crashes anyway um, so yeah uh, now we're on a different planet and I'm attempting to pull off a mission here so we're Basically, they got a massive jump in time. Um, it's like 17 days later, um, plus the time to... Well, no, it's like... But yeah, 17 days later. Um, so, we're taking a mission. I kind of did the same parameters for this one. Uh, this is a capture base mission, so we got to capture and hold it. Um, looks like we got turrets and units. Nice. Um, so, yeah... That's where we're at right now. So let's enjoy this combat. Let's get into here. It took me like last night five hours to try to try and get an episode recorded. It was like the game was crashing out on me. Like at one mission, like I think I mentioned this in the earlier section. Uh, one mission crashed out on me like two times, and then I was attempting to do it the third time, and it never recorded. And Oh god, it was a nightmare. So, um, we managed to make enough, uh, the last mission I did, we made, made enough uh, sea bills to make, make our uh, financial report, plus be able to travel, plus I have a little bit left over. So, this one we're doing mostly for sea bills. Um, that guy's backing up. We're going to start making our way towards the clans. I've got a plan to do that, and I think I described it at the beginning of the episode. No, no I can't, I don't remember now, that was last night, it's like 18 hours ago. I can't even remember what it was, what I was talking about. So, um, yeah. So this episode is going to be pretty uh, incohesive. Tomorrow's, well, if this one gets out today, this is Saturday. If this one gets out today, great. If not, it'll be tomorrow. But then the episodes after that, they'll be a little bit better. I hope, as long as I keep don't getting keep 
uh, avoid getting crashes, then uh, should be, things should be a little better here. I'm not sure why it was crashing. Um, I was I was trying to get the most recent version of Rogue Tech running. Um, and I'm wondering if it's just something happened with that. This is a version I've got offline. So this version wasn't changed at all. So I'm not really sure how, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, hopefully it's fixed now. Yeah, if you guys can, um, after this guy fires all his missiles, if you can uh, put a mention down in the comments, um, I'm trying to get the latest version of Rogue Tech running. This is like, I think the first version that came out with uh, the new patch, with the Flashpoint patch. Um, I still haven't been able to update. If you guys can let me know if I need to be like, I don't know if I need to be using uh, a beta patched version of Rogue Tech or just the standard Rogue Tech Flashpoint or what it is. I've got Flashpoint and every time I install the, the latest version of Rogue Tech, it just goes to the mod tech screen and then I have but just the regular battle tech. So, you know, the Rogue Tech, there's no Rogue Tech there. So I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Uh, but like I said, this one's offline too. So I don't really have to worry about losing this version. But I just want to see if I can get it updated to the most recent version. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the auto cannon loadout on this guy. I feel it's a little bit more punchier than the uh, PPC and the ER large. Um, I know I say that it's it's less um, single location damage, but uh, it's more hits. I think the light machine guns have got to go, but like I said, um, I may have mentioned it in the opening of this episode, which I recorded yesterday, but um, the missions that I had pulled off that had crashed out, I had taken down um, an enforcer and an archer um, with headshots using the light machine guns, and then in one of the other missions, um, uh, I took down a Marauder two with a headshot and that one crashed out as well so I didn't get any any parts from the, any of those mechs unfortunately um, I looked into it too we would if if the salvage had gone through we've got we would have gotten an archer but um, yeah such is life all right let's see if we can finish this guy up fire suppression wow that was terrible Enemy at least he ain't jumping they're gonna shoot though. Damage Countering a lot of base pilots. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just that. Okay, let's get on this turret. That's a vehicle down there. Oh god, Darius, please just stop. Yeah. You know what though? Turrets are hostiles, dude. This is a mech, isn't it? Is turrets are hostiles, dude. Camouflage LRM turret. So I renamed this guy the Rave Back rather than Disco Back. Fire in. I shooting. So it's got a lot more stuff on it now. I think I summed this up earlier. It's got one more medium laser and a lot better heat seeking. Plus, it's got the uh, NSS in it too, so um, it's a lot, a lot more stealthy. So after I finish re recording a successful mission for this, I gotta take stock of where we are and what we've done, because some stuffs happened between when I started recording this episode and where we're at now. Like a lot of stuff has happened. Um, so I have to take stock of that, and then when we pick up. Um, with the next episode, I'll at least have an idea where we're at and what we're doing, and then I can kind of fill you in a little bit more as to what's happened, as long as things stay stable, that is. Kind of hoping they do. Okay, uh, we don't really need to worry more about that guy, but this guy, what's he got left? Oh, he's got three left in the center torso, so let's multi-target then. We're gonna go this route, I think. Engaging 
multiple targets. Wow. Oh god, the hitting is terrible. So the Victor's got a smaller engine now, which is why it's a little slower. I don't mind it, but you know, on trees like and tree uh, maps like this, it's a little bit more um, sluggish, I guess. But the load that I find is better with that Thunderbolt in the torso now. I'm not sure if I showed this at the beginning, but with the Thunderbolt in the torso rather than the AC20, uh, much better accuracy for sure, um, and definitely a heavier hitter. So let's multi-target. And we're going to put uh, this stuff on B and the rest on A. Confirmed. Should be able to knock this guy out, I think. Or not. Oh, we missed with the, with the uh, Thunderbolt. Damn. Okay, it's AC2s. It's not so bad. They are lighter turrets, so... Thunderbolts. Nope. Missiles. Sound like Thunderbolts. Oh, MMLs probably. Hang in there, Hellcat. Hopefully we can get the drop on that mech that's down in the valley. It's a crab. Okay. Oh, it's the same version we have. Maybe we can get some dead fire ammo out of that. Be nice to get that. We can put it in the hunchback. The MML the MML back now that we've got uh, sitting back in the shop. Um, Alright, Steve. Let's do the job here. Let's get in here. Yeah, we're going to multi-target again. Should probably stop doing this, but uh, all that on B, the other stuff on A. There we go. Finally. Okay, I got the vehicle too. Solid double kill. Enemy unit destroyed. We'll start working on the turrets now. Commander. I'm there. Okay, we're going to get our stability back. Let's finish up this turret. So you, you can see here though, this guy is way more heat efficient now. I can fire all these eight medium lasers and not have to worry about overheating. There's no reason not to fire them. Fire them because we can. Target destroyed. All right, Rhino. Order. Uh, we're starting on the turrets, so let's move forward as far as we can. Confirmed. Should have a better chance to hit with the arrow system on this guy. Sniper turret, two Ultra 2s. That Thunderbolt hits is going to be 100 damage right away. Nice. But not enough, not enough other damage, unfortunately. Three points left. Of course it's only got three left. Yes, Commander. Why wouldn't it? Uh, can we... Oop. Not can pop cans over here. Can we multiple target here? Um, yeah, we can. Let's do that. Get some stability back. What are we looking at? Oh, it's a missile carrier. We're not multi-targeting. Oh, we probably can. It's got 65, 30 internal. Uh, no. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot it and get rid of it. We just wanted to make sure it was gone. Wow, it's not dead yet. How close did we get? I bet you it's three points. Did any of those hit? It didn't look like any of them hit. 22. Yep. Damage is minor. Better hurry up. Reinforcements are coming soon, guys. I don't think they're hitting this guy. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, On my way. So we're gonna multi-target. We're gonna go after this and this. 
Um, yeah. The minor damage from the light machine guns won't matter if we don't hit this turret with them. Won't make a difference. Okay, nice. Thunder the Thunderbolt's hitting, which is good. So percentage wise, the Thunderbolts, you know, has about twice the chance to hit as the AC twenty did. At least it's seeming that way at low percentages. At higher percentages it's you know not as much, but still it's um, giving me much much better chances to hit. Ah, I can't hit the turret from here, eh? That's alright, we'll do this. Okay, so not much left there. Let's um multi. I'm gonna put the ultras on B, everything else to A. I wanna make sure it dies. Okay, that's gone. A couple hits, nice. Good start. Yeah, I want to get Ultra Tens for this guy. One of the matches that we did um, that never uh, that crashed out, we weren't able to uh, get anything from, um, gave us an opportunity to select two uh, AC Tens as our salvage. And it crashed out. I was so disappointed when I didn't get those. Either one, if we had gotten the archer, it would have been great. Um, or a pair of AC 10s for that thing would have been great. Like, sorry, not just regular AC 10s, they were Ultra 10s. So it would have been a pair of Ultra 10s on that guy. I would have really had to rework the uh, weight on it, but it would have definitely been worth it. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Alright, so we got multi target here too. And what do we got left on this turret? 45. So multi A, B. And let's go with all the... Nope, sorry, that's backwards. Yeah, let's go with the mediums on the A. There we go. And then PPCs to B. Nice. That'll put him back. I think I hit something good. Maybe I rave back and take the other leg. Sweep the legs! So we had to use our extra light um, AC-5 on the crab, so we don't have any backup light AC-5s right now. Up, yeah, here they come. So, um, that's not a huge concern for me right now because we have three really good hunchbacks that we can be using. So the crab might not get used a lot, but it might be, if we don't, if we get crappy salvage from here, if we can get a light AC-5 from this guy, I might take it. It's actually a pretty good weapon overall too, right? Um, not shockingly, I mean it's 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 an okay weapon. Uh, let's move right into here. Your job is to remove the leg from Yon Crabo. So let's target everything on the leg. Or shoot wherever you want too, that works. <laughs> Just strip all his armor off. Uh, yeah, good job. Probably a bunch of light mechs coming down here. This is only rated around two skull missions, so... Did we even hit the leg, for Christ's sake? Really? Oh. Probably an enforcer? Seems like an enforcer. That's this guy up here, I think. Uh, should we go take a look? Steve, you want to have a look? Or should we worry about the turrets first? Uh, let me think about this. We could push these guys, or we could draw them back. If we draw them back, they're most likely going to be able to move in and shoot. So we're probably better off... Um, maybe getting eyes on. Let's start here. Okay, this guy is LRM, MML3, it's not a big deal, light machine, or regular machine gun array. And high roller. Case 2, nice. Uh, so it's kind of a bushwhacker chassis. Yep. Yeah. 
almost the same loadout as an enforcer with the exception of the fact it's got way more uh, medium lasers and stuff so yeah what can we shoot let's multi-target this guy out and we're just going to shoot this route actually you know what let's leave the mediums off let's just shoot for the turret Okay, we can clear that turret out now. Uh, oh, we're down the hill here. That's where we are. That's where we are. Let's move into here. We're going to do a multi-target again as well. So, this guy's got not very much. 28 left. So, let's multi. Uh, a, B, and C. C is going to get the machine guns, I guess, and the medium laser. Um, this does, what, 20? It'll do 30 on B. So we should be able to kill the turret. Let's take a chance with the Thunderbolt hit on the, on the uh, guy back there. 29%. We got lots of ammo, so let's do this. Roger. Come on, hit. Ah, close. Well, not really. 58% off. All right, turrets are gone. Come on, head hits. Nope. Good to go. Uh, yeah, we need to take this crab out. Can't get both, but we'll move up behind the Jager mech. Target the crab. And what do we got here? 58, yeah. We either get it or we don't. Let's just fire. A lot of red there, or orange. Not enough, though. We did hit the leg. Wow, almost nothing left in the torso. The right back can't spend any more time here. We gotta get it over to the other side. Okay, so... Waiting for order. Oh, you blocked me in. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy. Never mind. Um, I thought he blocked me in there for a second. Gonna fire on him. Come on, hit. No. That one was closer. Fire everything on this guy. Yeah. I know it's not like me to leave that guy behind, but it's really not much he's going to be able to do. We're going to punish him here in a second anyway. Okay, let's see what we're up against. Locust. Commando. And a crab. Another crab. Okay. Well, this guy's the uh, obvious choice. Alright. Good start. And the locust is fleeing. Oh, it's coming up to the root top here. Trying to get some height advantage. Don't blame you, buddy. Eh, not such a good shot. All right, let's see what we got left on this guy here. Yeah, he's still not bad. Maybe we should just hit him with everything, see if we can finish him up. Affirmative. Wow, I missed with one of the lasers too. Enemy down. 
All right, we don't have to worry about those guys behind us now. All right, Rave, let's get up here. Let's give him a light show. All right, let's move. Let's give this commando a light show right here. Fire and all right, he's gone. You're making me angry. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injuries. That pisses me off. You didn't move far enough. Confirm. Think you're unsteady now. Way to get by the T B twenty, buddy. All right. Minimal damage on that hit. So the MML Hunchback 2 is actually quite good. Uh, you're blocking that guy. Do we stay? Let's go in the trees, reduce the damage slightly. Copy that. So the MML Hunchback is, is actually pretty good overall. So if our Jagermack takes time to... Uh, oh, he's going down. If our Jagermeg takes, takes time to get repaired, we can still run with the Hunchback as well. And um, I think it was uh, Fists of Dorn that made a mention of uh, running with three hun or four Hunchbacks if we can get another one and make, call him the Hunchpack. I think that's kind of a cool idea. So if we can get um, more Hunchback parts, I think we'll do that. They've pretty much all got um, distinct loadouts too. So what would be cool though is if we can get a kind of a classical AC-20 loadout. Uh, let's just walk back here, get stable. Target this guy. Ah, uh, he's almost CT'd. We're not getting much out of this anyway, so... There we go. Let's see what they do here. Yep, if I were you, I'd be running too. I'd be waiting for the dropship, buddy. Go somewhere with the dropship. You expect the dropship to show up? Uh, let's just move like this. Dump everything into this guy. Not getting very many head hits here, but we'll take what we get, dump everything into this guy. Enemy Critical damage detected. Yes, Commander. I think they should have, like if you get unsteady, there, there should be a penalty for um, for movement. Or for initiative, that is. I don't want to go too far up. I want to be able to stay near the uh, center here so we can finish this mission up quickly. So let's just target this guy straight out. Hit him with everything. We weren't in optimal range, so... It's hoping for a knockdown, though. Headbutt time. Nope. Just step forward. Yeah. Solid connection on that one. So LRM ammo explosion. I don't know if we lost the dead fire ammo in there or not. You penned the inside, really? Oh yeah, I guess so. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. What? What did it destroy? No. I lost my arm. 
You made me lose my arm. Well, that sucks. Gotta come around this way to get in the base, I think. Moving at full throttle. Gonna finish this up. Okay, that was really bad. Yes, Commander. Got it. Uh yeah. I was really hoping for that, uh, that thunderbolt to hit. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. See if we can finish this guy off. So for that guy, I don't know I'm gonna replace that AC with. It's not like I have a PPC or anything I can drop in there. Ah. Uh. Come on, finish him up. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Ridiculous losses on this one. Standing by. Affirmative. Hooray, no crash to the desktop. And we got a million dollars worth of stuff out of that, uh, sorry, million C bills worth of stuff out of the factory there, whatever the buildings were. Which means we got money to repair stuff and money to travel, which is great. All right, we lost crap off the Jager Mac. The Ultra Five went down. Just I just got that thing working. I mean, we could replace it with an AC10 or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, Mac parts don't really want those. AC Double Ten plus ten AC damage. There's the replacement. We'll take that, I guess. Unless there's something else better down here. Hope we get some, hopefully we get some of these medium lasers. Uh, case 2 is nice, but I think we can avoid that for now. Cooling pods would have been nice. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. We do need to put something in that arm, so let's confirm this. Alright, high roller part. LRM 20. We got one of the medium lasers, accuracy ones though, but still better than nothing. Alright, here we go. 136,000. We knew it was going to cost a lot, but we still made a lot of C bills. All right, so we've got a bit of work to do. The Jager Mac will be out for a while, uh, 12 days. We're gonna bring that up because we're gonna be shifting planets here again. Um, so yeah, let's leave it there. We only got two bays up and running, so let's get the Hunchback, the Victor, and the Rave back. back. Um, so um, let's look at the store first before we leave this planet. I didn't have a chance to look when we came here uh, off camera. So there is an ex extra PPC. Yeah, I only like the PPCs that give you the plus 10 damage. Oh, this one's plus 10 minus 10 heat. That's the one I was looking for. Why didn't it show up like that? That's weird. I guess it was, must have been showing me the tool tip for this guy. Yeah, it was. So I like the PPCs that are the plus 10 damage, minus 10 heat kind. Um, it's like having a large laser with extra, like a lot extra damage. Uh, view cockpits. TTS missile. Do we buy that though? Interesting. Don't think it's really that necessary right now, especially for that price. 339,000, it's really not worth it. 
This PPC, however, probably is. Just in case, for whatever reason, we can't get that ACT, ACT, AC10 running. Uh, I'm going to buy this just so we have it. Let's go to the star map now. So here's my plan. If we're going to start getting better gear, we're definitely going to need to take on the clan. So in order to do that, we got to go way up here. As you can see, the uh, clans are... I think this is all ghost. Is this ghost bear? Clan wolf has made its way down here. I think this is ghost bear. Yeah. So wolf has made its way into the inner sphere. They're down here. And ghost bear is making its way in here as well. So we're going to move ourselves north. And what we're going to do is rather than going through Davian space, we're going to skirt along here. Going to make double jumps if I can, but jump the farthest distance I possibly possibly can for the shortest amount of time. And then we're going to make our way up between La, uh, Liao and Davian. Go past Steiner and Davian. Go up Kurita and Davian. And then through Rasselhag, and then we'll decide when we get up here which way we're going to go. That's kind of my plan. But we're going to make long jumps to try and get up there now. Um... I originally said we were going to raid along here. We might try and hit one of these flashpoints. I haven't actually done a flashpoint yet, so um, I want to try one of those out. So I might hit one of these up, see what's there. I don't even know how they work yet, but uh, I'm not even sure if I can do it with this current version of uh, of uh, Rogue Tech. So we'll make our way over here, see what we can do. Um, yeah, so that's the goal right now. And what I'll be doing between episodes is jumping planets. Probably what we'll do is we'll jump in. Um, like we'll get fixed up between jumps. We'll jump in, uh, take a mission, probably mostly for sea bills, and, and maybe buy a couple things in the store, and then jump out to the next system. So uh, we'll do a lot of sea build missions. Um, I think our mechs are actually working pretty good right now. Um, depending, we'll also check. I'll check the mech bay too to see what parts we need. Um, hopefully, if there's a planet with a lot of uh, you know like two to three skull missions. We'll probably take a bunch of missions there, maybe get some salvage before we leave. Uh, because what I want to try and do, uh, if we go to the mech bays real quick, we do have two mechs that are in storage. We have a Centurion uh, and a Wolverine. So if we go to medium, we got a Wolverine R, uh, which we're using as a punch bot in uh, Rotec Cold Forged. And we do have the Centurion here, which really, you know, isn't that great of a Centurion? I mean, it's a missile platform, basically with a you know, heavy auto cannon punch or a heavy laser punch, but basically it's a missile platform. So we'll get the Centurion running. Um, this could possibly be a SRM platform, close range platform, or it could be a long range platform. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll get both of these two mechs up and running. So we have two lances going, um, but uh, we, do have the, we do have the pods to run two lances right now. Right now they're just uh, getting experience in the training modules. So we'll let that continue along as we're moving. Um, but th that's the goals anyway, and um, yeah, I want to apologize again for the uh, kind of choppy mid the choppy uh, episode. Uh, once I figure out um, uh, if this actually records or not, I'm sure it will. But if it finishes recording and everything, and then we'll put the episode together, and then we'll pick up again tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, we don't end up with uh, too many problems. Um, going forward. But yeah, if anyone has a uh, any information on what version of Rogue Tech Flashpoint I need to be running, is it a beta version? Is it the original version? Because every time I go to install uh, the newest version of Rogue Tech, what ends up happening is uh, Mod Tech runs, and when it launches, I don't get Rogue Tech. I get regular Battle Tech. So I'm not sure what's going on there, uh, but if anybody has any idea which version, whether it's uh, Battle Tech 1.2 like beta, or 1.12, or uh, there's a couple of other beta versions in there as well. If someone can let me know which version I should be running, that would be great. I've tried them all and pretty much got the same thing, so maybe I'm doing something wrong. But yeah, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you got any comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.